Hey guys, welcome to your reteach for fractions to percents and percents to fractions. Um, we're going to go over some very similar questions that you saw in your quiz from yesterday, how to convert them. Then you're going to retake your quiz and hopefully improve that grade. All right, so let's go ahead and share my screen. We're going to do very similar uh, questions to what you saw yesterday. Share. All right, oh, I marked on my screen. Erase. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do a few practice problems together. So one of your uh, questions, it said to express a percent as a fraction in simplest form. So let's do 3%, okay? 3%, they want that as a fraction in simplest form. Well, in order to change a, a percent to a fraction, all you do is put it over 100. So I'm gonna put equal three out of 100. Now, simplest form. Can I simplify this fraction? I have three out of 100. Three and 100 do not share a common number, so it is in its simplest form. So three out of 100 will be my final answer, okay? You had another test question, excuse me, quiz question, that said express a fraction as a percent. So let me give you 15 out of 50. Okay, there are two ways you can change a fraction to a percent. You can make the denominator equivalent or equal to 100 if you can, or you can use division, Tybo. Tybo will always work. I'm gonna show you both. Let's look at the denominator, 50. Can I make it equal to 100? 50 to 100. I can, 50 times two will give me 100. So I would do the same to the top, 15 times two. Let's do some stretch work. 10. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 30. So 30 out of 100. When my denominator is 100, I have my percent, the top number. 30 out of 100 would be 30 percent. Okay. Now, if you didn't see that you can make it equal to 100, you could have used division, top in, bottom out. So let's try that. 15 50 is on the outside, sorry about that. 50, 50 will not go into one, 50 will not go into 15. I need to start at 150, so I need some scratch work. Let's do, we already know 50 times two is 100, let's do three. So we have zero, oh, there we go. So we've gotten a decimal, but remember a decimal is not what they want, so we need to use Dr. Pepper a decimal to a percent, I move two to the right. So here's my decimal, one, two. Remember, whenever you have an empty spot, you fill it with a zero. So our percent is 30%, which is the same thing we got up here. So you can either make it equal to 100 if you can, or you can go straight to the division, which will give you a decimal, and then use Dr. Pepper to change it to a percent. Uh, you had two word problems on your uh, quiz yesterday. One of them said, if I had a percent, what would it be as a fraction in simplest form? So I'm going to give you another percent. 80%. Okay. 80%. To change it to a fraction, you just put it over 100 and drop the percent sign. So 80 over 100. It is now a fraction. But remember, you have to simplify a fraction if you can. 80 and 100 are both even numbers. They both end in zero, so I know I can divide by 10. So I'm gonna divide by 10. I now have eight over 10. They are both still even. I can divide by two. Divide by two. I now have four over five. Four over five or four out of five is as simplest as I can go. So I'm gonna go ahead and box that answer in. Okay. The last type of question, quiz question that you saw yesterday was another word problem. And it said you had something out of something. So let's give you one. Let's say, ooh, let's say nine out of 20. Basically, Let's say they said nine out of 20. Well, you would put that in fraction form. 
nine out of 20, but they want it as a percent. So remember, you can either try to make it equal to 100 or you can use tie bow. Let's do tie bow. Top in, bottom out. 20 will not go into nine. How many 20s will go into 90? Two, four, six, eight, 10. 10 is too much, so I need to do four. Two, four, six, eight. So 20 times four will give me 80. I have 10 left over. Two, four, six, eight, 10. So 20 times five will give me the 100. But remember, we don't want a decimal, we want a percent. So we're gonna use Dr. Pepper, two to the right, one, two. So my percent, is 45%. If you saw that you could make this equal to 100, which you can, 20 times five is 100. So nine times five is 45. 45 out of 100 is 45%, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, those were the four types of quiz questions that you saw yesterday in your quiz. I have just reviewed how to solve those types of problems. You are now going to go take your retake quiz today, and I hope that you improve your grade. All right, guys, have a good day.